let's say that we have a Poisson process or a pure birth process that looks like this. So we have some state to some other state and it keeps going. and It's always arriving at rate lambda independent of the state. We want to know uh, what's the expected amount of time from going from one state to the next. So let's say this is state J and we want to go to state J plus one. How long do we are we going to be in state J before we go to state J plus one? And so we can think of this as the mean residence time in state J. Uh, to study this, let's define an auxiliary variable called A. And A is the, the continuous random variable. It's a continuous random variable that represents the time between two arrivals. Time between two arrivals, or equivalently, it's going to be the residence time equals residence time in state J, in, in any state for that matter, residence time in a state. So uh, we want to know what is the distribution of A. What is the distribution of A? So let's consider the cumulative distribution. First, the cumulative density function. The cumulative density function for A is by definition the probability that A is less than or equal to T. And this is going to be the same as one less probability that A is greater than T. So this one over here, we are going to be uh, exceeding time t if there are zero arrivals, zero arrivals uh, in, the ti in time t, in time interval zero t. And this is nothing more than uh, pi zero t. So this means that the uh, probability that A is greater than T is going to be 1 minus pi 0 T. And we already know what pi 0 T is. It's 1 minus E to the minus lambda T. And so from this, we, if you do, this is the probability that A greater than T, which means the density function for A is the derivative is going to be the derivative of this, which is lambda e to the minus lambda t, density function for A. And this is, of course, uh, the density function of an exponential distribution. So this proves that the mean residence time in a state is going to be exponentially distributed or alternatively, you can say the inter-arrival time, time between two arrivals, is going to be exponentially distributed for a Poisson process. So the time between two arrivals, which is the same as the residence time in the state, is drawn from an exponential distribution. So for a Poisson process, we not only know that the departure time is uh, independent of the state, the departure rate is independent of the state, the departure time is also memoryless because of the exponential distribution being memoryless, which means that we, uh, the, if you're in a state for a particular amount in time, for a particular period of time, the probability of transitioning to the next state is independent of how long you've been. So it doesn't matter how long you've been in the state, you're just as likely to transition in the next delta t time interval as you were at the beginning or, or any other time of being in the state.